the Southeastern Conference. Hi, everybody. Joel Myers along with Ty Blackledge. Happy New Year. Welcome to the Georgia Dome for the 27th Annual Peach Bowl. Well, Ty, from a physical standpoint, a very difficult matchup tonight for Wolfpack of North Carolina State. First of all, how do you think you'll deal with it defensively? Well, Joel, they don't have the bolt or the depth to just line up and slug it out with Mississippi State, so I expect to see them get aggressive, gang up around the line of scrimmage, try to attack the running game. Now, that presents another problem, man-to-man -man coverage in the secondary, and folks, if you haven't seen wide receiver Eric Moulds of Mississippi State play, you are in for a treat. A budding superstar, not only does he have the speed and explosion to blow by you and beat you deep, but at 6'3", 205 pounds, he also has the strength to break a lot of arm tackles, and he can very easily take a short pass and turn it into a long touchdown. In the last month of the season, no bigger big play receiver than Eric Moles. Now the Wolfpack offensive unit can certainly take some pressure off the defensive unit with long sustained drives, but first of all, they need a great game from quarterback Terry Harvey. Yeah, Terry Harvey's a junior. He's got a lot of talent, and he has to play extremely well working this offense, running the option, and also throwing the football. And I think he has to do two things. They have to sustain drives in order to rest their defense. When their defense comes off the field, they have to be able to spend some time there and really regroup. And secondly, they must protect the football. This team, Joel, is 8-3. and three, But in the three games that they've lost, they turned the ball over 15 times. Cannot afford to do that against the Bulldogs tonight. Glad you brought that up. So ball security of the utmost tonight for North Carolina State coming in. And here comes the pack. The Wolf Pack out of the Atlantic Coast Conference. We are just about ready to go. We'll be right back with the starting lineup for Peach Bowl 95. Imagine 30... here in the south and another one here at the georgia dome this evening as the party continues the bulldogs of mississippi state ranked number 18 of the country against the 23rd ranked wolfpack of north carolina state welcome back once again joel myers along with todd blackledge and let's join the third member of our team now can't do a game without the good doctor can we down to dr jerry punch chair Thank you very much, Joel, and Happy New Year, everyone. You know, the task for the NC State defense is a tall one, or should I say a wide one, given the massive weight differential between them and the Bulldog offensive line. But in what may have been the best-kept secret in Atlanta this week, the defensive task got a little bit tougher. They will be without their second-leading tackler, free safety James Walker, who was suspended for one game due to a violation of team rules. And to soften Walker's loss, they will get Kenny Harris back. Harris has not played since breaking his arm in the seventh game of the season against North Carolina. He will play with a soft cast. You see on his right arm there? That is covering a steel plate and two screws that are holding his own with a small bone on his forearm together. But without Walker, the task for Mike O'Kane and the Wolfpack defense has just gotten a lot taller. Joel? All right, Jerry. Well, it is going to be tough for Mike O'Kane finishing up his second season at North Carolina State but not his second season there. He's been there since 86 in this assistant under Dick Sheridan. And Jackie Sheridan, Cheryl in his fourth year at Mississippi State. Plenty of experience, though. 17th season overall as a head coach. Great years. You remember a pit, Texas A&M as well. And a down take in the Bulldogs for the third bowl appearance over the last four years. Quite a run in Starkville for Jackie Sheryl. Mississippi State has won the toss, so some excitement right off the bat for us at the Georgia Dome. You're looking at the nation's kickoff return champion, Eric Moles. When he brings it back, the average start of a drive at the 42. Others, not bad at all at 31, but still 42. It's great field position. Well, when you have a guy like that, even if you try to kick it away, sometimes you end up hurting yourself your own kick coverage. I mean, he is a guy that you just have to decide how do you want to deal with. And I expect, even though Vitek has a great leg, I expect to see them maybe try out high kick, try to get the good uh, coverage downfield with the good hang time on the kick, not let him get a running start, even maybe try to make one of the up guys field the football. Steve Vitek kicks it away and holds a let it go out of bounds at the five. Now the option is, of course, with the Mississippi State, they can take it to the 35 or a five-yard markoff, but they'll take it to the 35 and they'll have it first and ten. The offensive look, we start with the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Co-MVP offensively, Fred McCrary. 
great blocker, but his offensive coordinator told us they want to hit him with passes early in the contest in the flat. Chris Jones, the wide receiver, the junior from Tupelo, up and down season according to his coach, but really came on down the stretch. And on the offensive line, Jason Wisner goes to 325-6-3. Tuesday, I think he was ready when he challenged the Atlanta Falcons to a game. There's some serious beef up front for Mississippi State. Their quarterback Tate throwing on first down, and he's got that man available. On first down right away, going to Fred McCrary. So the coach was true to his word. Bruce Arians told us the offensive coordinator wanted to get into the hands of McCrary. Eric Counts, the strongest one up front for North Carolina State. He is their left tackle defensively for the Wolfpack as we look at the linebackers. Covington, the senior from Berlin, New Jersey, first team all ACC in each of the last two seasons. And the shakeup of the secondary because of the suspension of James Walker. So Ricky Bell started every game on the corner, now moving over to strong safety. That means Dre Major is going to move up with his first start of the year at the corner spot. Watkins gets it this time, and he's the other co-MVP offensively. So right away, they reward their two MVPs with the first two balls of the game. And one thing I've learned right now is when Bruce Arians says something, we can certainly Thank believe you. it. He said it. He wanted to get both of those guys the football early in the game. Watkins only had five catches coming into this ball game. He said that he wanted to get five catches for him tonight. Again, the running game is the threat. You fake the run and come out on the bootleg. Tate has great mobility and a nice job by Watkins, the big blocker, catching the ball with his hands. Second and two. Michael Davis, the single set. Two tight end formation. They want to throw it again, and they find Watkins again. First down inside the Wolfpack 35. He said he wanted to get at least five balls in the hands of Kevin Watkins to reward the senior from Jackson, Mississippi for all he's done for the team. Well, what North Carolina State's doing, first of all, there's the tight end. Now look at all these defenders committed to the line of scrimmage. There's eight people up there. They're expecting the run. Mississippi State is tossing them up. They're faking the run. They've got all those people around the line of scrimmage, and the tight end just slips right off the line of scrimmage. So three plays in the ball game. They've gone play action and have made it work each time. First and 10 for the Wolfpack, 34. And Tate wants to throw it again. As a man, is it taken in? Yes. What a grab over the far side by Chris Jones, dotting down to get it. Another first down to the 22. Jackie Sherrill with putting curveballs balls early. We said at the top, now watch the pressure. They're trying to come with blitzes on the inside and on the outside. They're going to really try to pressure Derek Tate. They figure we're not going to let the running game beat us. We want to force him to throw. Well, so far it's working against him because Tate is 4 for 4 and gaining more and more confidence as the game goes on. Do you believe this? A running back hasn't touched the ball yet from Mississippi State. They've taken it from their own 35 to the Wolfpack's 22, and they still haven't run the ball. Tate in trouble. And throws it away as he's hit. Heads up play for the quarterback, Derek Tate, with the pressure coming from Damian Covington. Tate is a sophomore from Moss Point, Mississippi. He threw for 466 yards and a win over two lanes, so he can get it downfield. You know, the thing about Derek Tate is that early in the season, he hurt his ankle rather severely. Now, he has great speed, 4-5 speed. But when he hurt his ankle, he was forced to, to not rely on his strength, which was his ability to scramble and run. He had to stay in the pocket, learn how to read defenses. And I'll tell you what, it, it has really paid off for him as a quarterback. Take a look at Denver Johnson, the offensive line coach over there for Mississippi State. The, the, the development of Derek Tate over the course of this season has been dramatic as a passer. Second and 10 of the 22 of the Wolfpack. First run at Michael Davis. And a good tackle there by Mike Moore, the inside linebacker, the senior from Raleigh, North Carolina. A gain of only two. Hard to believe they've moved downfield like this without Bowles getting involved. So it's a third and long situation. The ultimate is the defensive coordinator, Ken Bennett, from North Carolina State, told us he wanted to gamble early on first and second down to put them in long yardage situations on second and third. And this is not the strength of the Mississippi State offense here when they get into the third down shotgun situation. This big offensive line is much better when they're all bunched in together, not in this pass drop situation. Out of the shotgun, pressure on tape, and overthrow Bones. Molds takes a shot from William Strong at the end of the play that will send a message for later in the game, obviously. 
pressure on Tate once again as well. Take a look at Carl Reeves as he's going to come from the right of your screen. He works to the inside and he runs right.